Hi everyone, Andy here from Imagine Academy. Today we're going to be doing a remote installation for your ray face scanner. First thing we're going to do is unbox it. Two flaps here. This comes up. This flap comes out. The first thing we're going to notice is your calibration plate. This is going to be your stand for the calibration plate here. Calibration plate itself. These three pieces of styrofoam can come out as one piece. Let's just come at it from the sides, pull it out together. This is your accessories box. This contains your power cable, USB cable, and ethernet cable. And the last thing in the box is the scanner itself. Now you want to be careful if you're going to be taking this out by yourself. You want to grab it from the stand uh, and the base and lift it out of the box. All right, so once everything has been unboxed, this is all the contents in your box here. So we have your scanner, the scanner's power cable here, the ethernet cord, the USB cable, again, the calibration plate, the calibration stand, a screwdriver and screws to attach the stand to the plate. The first thing we're going to do once everything is unboxed is assemble the calibration plate. Here in the stand you're going to notice that there's one small slot for the tab in the calibration plate and what we're going to do is align the base with that tab just like this. And then you're going to take the screws and you're going to drop them in. And then with the driver, fasten them up just like this. So after your calibration plate is all set up, the next thing we're going to do is set up the scanner. Again, the scanner comes with three cables. The first thing we're going to plug in is the power cable. That's going to be the first notch on the left. From there, we're going to plug in the USB cable. When connecting it to your computer, you want to make sure that you plug it into a USB super speed port. Last but not least is going to be the Ethernet cable here. And that plugs right in. And you're all set to go. Once everything has been plugged in, all you're going to need to do to finish setup is adjust the arms, which are adjusted by two small knobs here on the back of each arm. You're going to lift and rotate the arms into place. Once they're in place, you're going to hear a click, and that means they're firmly in position. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, just like that. From there, all we're going to have to do is just hold the power button until it powers on. So once everything's been plugged in, the first thing we're going to do is install software using the provided USB. Once the software is installed, we're going to register the scanner and then connect it via the IP address. Once all that has been completed, we're ready for calibration. You're going to notice on the calibration plate that there's two arrows indicating the direction in which it should face. And we're going to just slide the calibration plate into the base of the scanner just like this. We're going to face the camera connection side into the camera. At that point, what you're going to do is take the USB cable that we originally connected the scanner to, and you're going to take the USB side here and plug it into the calibration slot in the back of the scanner and take what was originally plugged into the scanner and you're going to plug that into the calibration stand. Once the calibration kit has been connected, we're going to start the calibration process. To do that, we're going to go to the gear icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen and then go to the calibration tab. The center face camera ch calibration chart is the larger dots here and we're going to face that towards the scanner. 
From there, we're going to go ahead and click Start. As you can see, the calibration process will automatically go by itself. Once it flips to the other side, the smaller chart is going to calibrate for the actual incisal edges of the teeth. Once the calibration has been completed, we're going to unplug the calibration kit. We can pull the calibration kit and place it off to the side. We're going to plug the wire back into the computer and make sure that it is now connected to the scanner in the original orientation. Here and here. After that is all done, that completes the first part of our guide. Please stay tuned to our next video where we'll cover proper face scanning procedure.